guys, so today, as you can tell by the title of the video, I am doing the Dollar Tree Makeup Challenge. I have a huge bag full of goodies. I went to the Dollar Tree. If you don't know, there's this challenge going around where you go to the Dollar Tree where everything is $1. And you have to find uh, a full face of makeup foundation, concealer, eyeliner, blush, the whole shebang, and try to do a full face of makeup from Dollar Tree. So I'm really excited. I scored some really awesome deals. Keep in mind, everything I got is cruelty free. This is also a collab with Brandon Marshall here on YouTube. Definitely go check out his video. He is doing the Dollar Tree makeup challenge as well. I will have his channel and his video in the description. Definitely go check it out. Subscribe. He is so sweet. So down to earth. I love his channel. His videos are awesome. It's so funny because we were snapping each other last night, um, showing each other what we got from Dollar Tree, and I'm really excited to see what look he comes up with. So yeah, let's go ahead and dive right in. I've got some scissors here to help me open everything up. Let's get started. The Come Correct Celebrity Concealer. I have tried this before, and luckily I did find one that was already opened in my makeup drawer so just showing you that I do have one already open so I'm going to use this one because I don't want to be wasteful and open a brand new one when I have one already open so this guy here I'm going to have to use for concealer and foundation I could not find a powder or foundation to match me for nothing um, I also picked up these cosmetic wedges which were one dollar and these are just your typical makeup wedges so i'm gonna go ahead and open one of these up and wet it and get it really damp and don't knock it till you've tried it you gotta you gotta try the little makeup wedges they're really awesome so i'm just gonna squeeze some of this in the back of my hand i don't know how my skin is gonna react for this being foundation we're gonna give this a try i'm just gonna dot this over and hope that this can work <laughs> I'm actually gonna use this for eyeshadow primer as well and concealer. All right, so I have the base on now. Um, I have to say this concealer is like really nice for foundation. Got really lucky, they had a whole bunch of Wet n Wild brushes. This is kind of like a haul. But I did find the contour brush from Wet n Wild. I picked up two of these guys. This is the small shadow brush from Wet n Wild again. And then these are the older ones, the older eyeshadow brushes. So. Um, I did find some tools to at least do my eye look. So I'm going to open up this LA Colors eyeshadow palette. Oh man, this is going to be a long video. I'm going to open this brush here. This is the Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush. And we're going to use this to apply the shadow. Pretty much all of these shadows look very matte. Look how pretty the shadows are. And I'm taking this matte nude cream color right here. It's a nice matte shade. And I'm going to try to set this concealer... Oh, that's pigmented. Oh, okay. All right, LA Colors. I'm also going to try to set a little bit where I do get creasing right underneath my eye. And I'm going to go in with um, this color right here. So it's like this really rosy mauve shade. And I'm going to put this in the crease. This is going to be my crease color. These wet wall brushes, you guys, are so good. So good. All right, I'm gonna take this small eyeshadow brush. It's like a really nice flat brush, so hopefully this can work for like the lower lash line, the outer V color. Come out, brush. Take this dark, like warm brown shade on the brush, just like that. And I'm just gonna put this on the outer V. I'm just gonna pack this on and then blend it with the other brush. All right, I'm gonna take that same dark brown color and put that on the lower lash line. All right, and then I'm gonna take the darkest color in the palette, this one right here. It's almost like a purpley brown. And I'm just gonna flip the brush over and use the other side and dip into that. And I also found these pencils and I thought you guys, I did not realize that these were black. I wanted to get brown for my eyebrows because there wasn't any other eyebrow option. So these are the LA Colors eyebrow pencils in black. I'm gonna put this in my waterline. 
I'm gonna take some more of that matte cream color and I'm just gonna use that to highlight the brow bone just right up here all right and then I'm going to try this loose eyeshadow from LA colors looks like a really pretty golden color perfect for fall so it comes in this cute little pod type of thing little container this color is beautiful this is in the shade radiant you guys are wondering I will have of course all the products listed below in the names so then this little thing comes out and it's a brush <laughs> oh boy look at that thing so I'm not going to use the brush I'm just going to tap a little bit into the cap and then I'm going to place this on my lid oh that is so pretty All right, let's try the LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner. And this is in black. Of course, you guys know I love my black liner. And the applicator, ooh, okay, I like this already. The brush is very thin. All right, so the wings are on. They look a little bit wonky. Um, I do like the formula, but it's... <laughs> The brush is really hard to control, but I was I managed to get a little wing on there. So while that dries, let's finish off the face. I do have a blush, and this is the HD blush from e.l.f., and I was really lucky to score this one, and this is in the shade Headliner. So I'm going to use that same sponge. I'm going to use um, the opposite side. All right, I like that. I like that a lot. And look how much I have left. So, okay. I'm falling in love with this again. <laughs> and then for highlighter, I found this eyeshadow, single eyeshadow from Wet n Wild. You guys can get these anywhere. And it's in the shine, it's in the color sugar, and it's a shimmery pearly white. And I thought, man, this looks like an awesome highlighter for like really fair skin. You know what? I think I'm going to use this contour brush for the highlighter. So here's what it looks like. Um, it's very, very flat and very thin. It's not very dense at all but it's soft. Ooh, okay, I actually like that. It's not like really intense, but it's like pretty. And this is in the color sugar. Oh, sugar, baby. I'm actually gonna take um, the sponge and highlight my inner corner with this as well. I got really lucky and found this Wet n Wild Mascara, and this is the Mega Wear Mascara. I've never tried this before. I don't know if they discontinued this. Um, like I said, I don't have an eyelash curler, so I'm hoping that my lashes cooperate. <laughs> so here's what the mascara looks like. Ooh, I love the blue packaging. All right, it's one of those really old-fashioned spiral wands. Oh God, this is gonna be terrible. I already know, it's gonna be terrible. All right, mascara is pretty decent. It's not completely terrible. I just got some on my freaking lid. Look at that. <gasps> Fun fact, this little cotton swab is also from Dollar Tree. <laughs> I buy them all the time. Boom, there, it's done. All right, so the eyes are done. Let's do something with the brows. That black eyeliner pencil, this is not gonna be good. I already know it. I'm just gonna try to fill in very lightly. So that's pretty much the brows. I actually really like how that looks. I need to comb it through and set it with brow gel, but I mean, that's actually not too bad. So last but not least, I have here two lipsticks, again, from LA Colors. I picked up this one, which is Dusty Rose. This one is called Frozen Berries, and this is a newer shade. It does say new. I didn't realize how purple this was, but it is pretty. Oh my God, I hope this is good. So this one is really patchy. So this is more of a sheer lip color. So let's see how this looks. Yeah, that's a really pretty color. <laughs> I like it. All right, you guys, so that is it. That completes this Dollar Tree makeup challenge. This is my finished look. Do a little zoom up up close. I went a little heavy with the liner, but overall, I'm pretty happy with everything. Um, I really liked the shadows, the liquid liner, 
not my favorite the mascara was okay <laughs> all right guys so that is it that is, completes this video i had so much fun doing this makeup challenge if there's any other like makeup tags or challenges you would like to see me do definitely leave a comment down below give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy don't forget to head over to brandon's channel and check out his video i'll have a link down below so you can just click on it and go check out his Dollar Tree makeup challenge. And thank you again, Brandon, for doing this collab with me. I had so much fun. And yeah, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit the subscribe button. It's completely free. And I post new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on Sunday. I will see you all in the next video. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye, guys.